Okay, so I want to do a brief recap every week of the three main Chateau channels. So the channels that I want to be focusing on are the Chateau Diaries, Chateau Life, and Doing It Ourselves. Basically, since they have such long videos and they can post up to three times a week, this will just be a brief summary of everything that they do on their channel and everything that they post and it will be in it to a condensed form that can be easily viewed and watched. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Chateau Diaries. So at Chateau de la Lande with Stephanie and her mother along with all of her other friends, this week they started off with a live stream. And in the live stream, it was her, Gerald, and her mother. And they all sit outside and they just pretty much answer questions from their viewers. And some of the questions are about Gerald's treatment, um, about the pea chicks that recently um, hatched. And Selmar also makes a guest, a guest appearance along with Thomas. They also have a barbecue after the live stream and that is why they have to end it. Um, the quality is a little low on this video because they have internet issues where they live because it's in such a remote area of France. Their internet is not the best, but in this live stream Stephanie promises the viewers that the quality should be improving soon because they are going to be getting better internet any day now. The next video that they posted on their channel was just them opening packages and this used to be a, a segment in her vlogs, however people have begun to send them so much stuff that they actually had to make a whole separate video of just them opening gifts. And the gifts are the usual, they get a lot of fabrics and a lot of food such as chocolates from all over the world from their viewers. Thomas also takes a lot of the spotlight in this week's vlog, so you get to see a lot of his creativity throughout the vlogs. The first thing that he works on and completes is the laundry room. Now originally the laundry room was kind of a mess, it just had the plaster was basically peeling off of the walls so you could see parts where it was nice and smooth and then parts of it you could see the granite under the the wall mm, plaster and the shelving was just kind of dingy and it was just a mess overall so thomas cleared out the entire laundry room and he painted it um white after peeling off some of the plaster and just making it look more finished by painting it white. He also put up a sheet to hide. There's a bunch of like, there's a boiler, I think, a water heater. So he put up a sheet that covers all of that now, so you can't see that. And in this picture, you can see that he also painted the shelves. And he attempted to put tile up, but Stephanie told him the wrong kind of tile, or not the wrong kind, but they didn't have enough of the right tile. So basically they just stuck up what they had and that's what you can see in this picture. They also do other renovations. Thomas creates a spa in the old room where they used to still store their garden equipment. And he sets it up like a spa. He does fabric, um, curtains, he does a bunch of different furniture put together and he even gets a massage table in there and gives free massages to some of Stephanie's friends who have arrived at Lalande. Additionally, another renovation that is going on is they are replacing a beam in Nick and Marie's cottage. And Nick and Marie also returned this week and their cottage floor is basically bending downward because the beams are rotting out. They didn't say the exact cause, probably just age, but they also mentioned that they have a problem with worms sometimes 
getting into the beam and ruining the structural integrity of it. So in this video, you see them fixing that beam. They're going to replace it. And Stephanie notes that in the future, this area, which right now it's just like a basement, it's more like a crawl space that can't really be used functionally at this time. You can see her down there and she notes that one day it is going to be a wine cellar. Once it gets the proper dehumidification techniques, then it would be a great place for them to store their wine. Their wine. And one more thing that happens at Chateau de la Lande this week is Salmar gets protective of the Peachix. So their bird has five little baby birds and they are kind of vulnerable because of the fact that this chateau is located in the remote woods. So they're exposed to a lot of predators such as coyotes, um, fox, there's also foxes out there. And so they have a high chance of getting eaten. And Selma becomes very ecstatic when the birds are firstborn. But he also is just very protective of them. And he parks his car in such a way that it protects them from potentially getting devoured by these wild animals. So it's really nice to see Salmar's connection to these animals and just to see that there are people that still care about these animals when they're so tiny and they really need a lot of protection just because of the fact that they're so exposed and the chateau doesn't have a, a real fence around it that would prevent animals from getting to the little chicks. So Selmar just parks his van in the way to prevent any predators from coming near the mother and the chicks. Now shifting to the chateau life. So this week the chateau life kind of goes off of what they normally would film. They actually go to another person's chateau and at this person's chateau they it's more actually a campground so they were they're working with a chateau owner named michael and he is trying to open a campground so they are there to help him get his place ready for campers so what they do is they just kind of weed his landscaping out to make sure that it looks preventable they trim some of the things back and they also help him construct a wall and the wall is used as a way to block the sun because they're going to be, they're going to hang an awning off of it and it's going to help block the sun. And it's all for a little cafe that they want to have at the campground where people can just sit and eat and not have to worry about melting away because of the hot sun. Then when they return to their own chateau, they start to fix their sign. So they originally had a really small sh sign at their chateau and the sign was so small that people would miss and just drive right by their chateau when there were events at it because they couldn't find where they were supposed to drive, where they were supposed to park. So in this episode they took the sign that they hand chiseled, which I think is a pretty cool feat, and they painted it as well obviously. But it's a lot bigger than their last one, so they hang that one up and they replace their old sign. Um, during this time, they also have to cut the ivy that is around the base of the sign and they have to trim a tree. In this episode, they also replace an underground or an underwater light that they have. Um, it's made to illuminate their moat and their bridge at nighttime. Now moving on to doing it ourselves. So this week doing it ourselves took cement out of the gardener's cottage that Michael plans on moving in 
and basically he ground up all of the cement and by hand they had to wheelbarrow it out of the shed and then once they had the cement they had to wheelbarrow each um, portion of the new cement into the apartment as his dad was in there um, smoothing it all out. So that was the main focus of this week for doing it ourselves. They didn't really get around to doing much else because that obviously took a lot of time to do it by hand and to use a wheelbarrow for it. <laughs>